I already have an agenda for today, and it's my cousin's birthday, or so I thought. But first, breakfast and checking out my YouTube channel stats. If you guys think I'm getting rich off YouTube, boy are you mistaken. <laughs> so that's why I need more subscribers. So I can make more money, so I can travel more, and I can make more videos for you guys. So on the agenda today, for Saturday, I'm uh, gonna get some work done of course, and then go to my cousin's birthday celebration. Okay, a huge correction is needed here. Either because I was given the wrong information or my Vietnamese is so bad that I could not understand the information correctly. It's actually my cousin's son's first birthday. Uh, her name is Tu, and I hadn't seen her in five years. I only met her my first time that I came to Vietnam. And since then she's uh, got a small family now, married with uh, one kid, maybe two, I don't know. But uh, I guess I'll find out tonight when we catch up. So my aunts asked me to go also take pictures, of course, being the family photographer. So um, I'm excited to go to Tu's birthday. As you well know by now, now this thing can cook but won't keep anything warm. I'm having leftovers by the way. So I actually have to put whatever I need to warm up inside the rice cooker and then just hit the cook button. Of course this will overcook the rice but at least it will warm up everything else. Of course I could just go downstairs and microwave the damn thing, but I'm antisocial. I'm gonna take my leftover <laughs> Lateria, Lateria, whatever, fries. See how there's an imbalance here in the uh, bowl of chicken that the woman cooked with a lot of the um, like the sauce or the whatever that, that goes with it that it's cooked in. Well, there's not enough rice and it's too wet. It's too much sauce, not enough rice. So I need to even that out. And I'm gonna try using fries from Lotteria and see if this will make the eating experience a little more pleasant. It's fine. It's fine. Big deal. So before I could even go to this family event, I had to do my best to get some side work done. Later in the early evening when I was ready to go, my cousin picked me up and we stopped by the nearby stationery store so I could pick up a nice birthday card. Onward to my auntie's house, as the birthday boy's dad was waiting to drive me to the party. Of course, as usual, I was force-fed a delicious cup of sweet Vietnamese pudding, otherwise known as jè. On the back of my cousin's motorbike, we are off to the venue. But wait, I thought we were going to a one-year-old's birthday party, not a wedding reception. Ah, but this is a one-year-old's birthday party. You see, here in Vietnam, it's normal to celebrate a child's first birthday with a bang. This is something totally foreign to me, yet very interesting to learn. It was, in fact, very much like a wedding reception, complete with photos with all of the guests, table arrangements, delicious food, and booze. Too bad this kid is too young to remember, but I guess that's what I was for. Yep, as usual, I got involuntarily volunteered to be the event photographer again. But for my family's memories, I happily obliged. I took pictures of all of the guests as they rolled in. When the celebration began, I, of course, did what I always do when in an awkward table full of elders. I booze it up. <laughs> Hãy subscribe cho
Besides the awesome live music, we were treated to speeches by some babe in an Aoyai dress. This one-year-old's birthday party was indeed fit for a king. And here comes the birthday boy himself with his parents, my cousin Tu and her husband. And even my cousin-in-law got into the act and started to perform for the crowd. More delicious food, drinking, singing, mingling, and dancing filled the night before the venue started clearing out. Well, it's pretty much near the end of the celebration and the venue was starting to clear out. My cousin drove me all the way back to my auntie's and eventually I made it home in one piece. Well, until I hit the toilet that is. It was an interesting day and it got me thinking, none of my birthdays were this cool, never mind my first birthday.